Welcome to the edition video for Year 2. In Year 2, the children are expected to begin to add bigger sets of numbers together. They should be looking, by the end of the year, at adding two sets of two-digit numbers. The method that we use begins using equipment in a practical way that we call Base 10. This consists of sticks that are made up of 10 separate little cubes joined together and little one cubes that are by themselves. This helps the children see the difference between the tens numbers in a number and the ones part of a number. To show you how this works with the children, look at the following question. We're going to practice adding together 34 add 48. The children will be expected to begin by making these numbers using the base 10 equipment. 10, 20, 30. They can see that they're going to need three 10 sticks to make 30. They're then going to need to have four of the little individual cubes to make the whole number 34. They will also make the other number, in this case 48, by getting the 10 sticks first of all. And they'll need four of those and eight small individual cubes. When they have them in front of them, the children can actually see and count that they have the right numbers. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Once they're happy that they have the numbers that they need, they're going to begin by adding the 10 sticks together. When using the objects, they can actually put all of the 10 sticks in one pile and all of the little individual ones together. They'll begin by counting the 10 sticks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So they're aware now that their number is going to be 70 or bigger. Once they've got to 70, they need to start counting on just one at a time because each of these cubes just means number one where it takes 10 to make a 10 stick, it's one on one cube. So we would have 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. By using the method practically, the children get the opportunity to move around the equipment and to see how the numbers work together. As the children become more confident at using this method, we move away from using the actual objects of the base 10 and we introduce the children to drawing it. We begin by drawing the numbers. We do long sticks to represent the 10 sticks and little circle dots to represent the cubes. So to draw out this number, we would have 10, 20, 30 and four little dots for the four cubes for 34. On this side, we would have the four 10 sticks, 10, 20, 30, 40, and eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight little dots. The same idea works for this as it does with the actual 10 sticks. The children will still count the 10 sticks first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They will still then count on the little ones after that. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. The answer still comes to the same, but now they're moving towards a written method. Once the children become more aware of the differences between the tens numbers and the ones numbers, they can begin by looking at using a method called an empty number line. This involves the children drawing an empty number line in their work. They will record their number sentence that they're going to add. So in this case, it's been 34 
add 48. And instead of drawing sticks this time, they're going to be doing little jumps, little hoops across the top. They're going to choose one of their tens numbers. We can start with either 30 or 40. It's probably best to start with the biggest number when we add, less counting on for the children, so less mistakes will be made. So I will begin with the 40. I'm going to write that 40 at the beginning of the number line. I'm going to do three jumps of 10 for this 30. I can put a little cross next to that one to know I've used it. So 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. I'm going to write that across the top just so the children remember how many tens they've actually used. And they can write down counting on in tens underneath. So we go 10, 20, 30 extra to the 70. We've used that number now. Now they can put a jump on of the ones numbers eight. The children can count on to realize that what they would end up with would be 78 at that time. They're now just left with the four little ones by themselves. With a jump of four, the children will be able to count on and see that their answer will come to 82. This is more of a written calculation method and prepares them for thinking about the numbers in terms of their tens and their ones value.